I'm here with Jonathan Frakes, the co-organizer of NamesCon 2015. Good to hey, see you again. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I'm glad you could come back. We really appreciated you last year, and you're back in style, man. That's awesome. Thank, thanks for having us, and we're, we're glad to be really glad to be here. How is everything going so far? Oh, it's swimming. I mean, it's wonderful. And in, there's things about it that are really experimental because we're we're pushing the envelope and doing different things, and it's been working out okay. You know, like DNS Sec. Uh, you know, letting people learn about that, and the president of Inta, trademark uh, stuff, and uh, just every angle of this business. It's just been going great, you know? Uh, I, but you never know until you try it, and it's been just amazing. And the networking here, I mean, you can hear it. It's loud, crazy in here. It's just wonderful. Yeah, everyone's gone to dinner, and there's still probably 150 people around us right now. So the turnout is smashed. I think all domain and conference records, is that what I've heard? Or? So there's free conferences that have been happening for a long time called the ICANN meetings. And those, you know, but those are more about policy and governance and things like that. It's not a commercial minded uh, show or, or that it has a cost. Uh, let's see, so there have been a couple traffics in 2007, 2008 that hit 725, 750. Uh, domain Fest Global, two or three years back, hit 750 if you count the overseas employees. Um, and uh, no, we've hit 900 people, which is like, uh, you know, up there. I think it's about um, it's about the people who come to participate though. I mean the conference I would love to say hey it's all me, it's all Jody, it's all Richard. Um, we each have great kind of ways to complement each other and, and we all work really well together. We got a good culture um, but it's about the attendees. You know this like all kinds of, of neat little features like you you know you're here interviewing people. No it's been wonderful and a diversity of content so um, and a lot going on at one time so you can kind of personalize the experience. If you're really into trademarks and learning about brands if you have a company like there, there's a you know Fox is here like the network like and they registered or they applied for .fox and so they're here to learn about what are we going to do with this thing right and, and, and then we've got people who have been investors in the domain space for a long time and you've got intellectual property attorneys uh, we've got people who just strayed in after CES because we're only a couple days later. So we have such a, like, if you ask me the demographic, I would say, you know, maybe 30, 40% of what you see at ICANN. Uh, maybe another 30, 40% you might see at a, a traffic or, well, Domain Fest. I'd say Domain Fest. We own Domain Fest now. Right. But, um, you know, like a domain conference. And then just, you know, 20% of more, like intellectual property attorneys, brand managers, marketing companies. Um, and just, you know, John Q. Public, small business owner, a, a, you know, a Flippa customer. Right, 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 exactly. So things are going well. There are a couple days left. Water Night is tonight. We're all excited to, to attend that. Tell us a little bit more about, about Water Night. Well, Water Night, so Richard is, uh, uh, leads a charity that is uh, Water School. And Water School teaches and educates in third world nations about um, how you can use inexpensive processes to uh, have clean and drinkable um, uh, water. And that can lead towards, uh, you know, reduction in health issues, even health related uh, deaths and things like that. And so it's, it, you know, little small things, little inexpensive things that can be done to help those, those different uh, uh, developing nations just have good clean water practice. But I mean, I'm so delighted to be able to, to help with that charity. And tonight there's actually two different people, uh, two different companies are sponsoring uh, so every dollar raised, people pledge. So people go to Water Night to, um, it's like a gala, but it's a fundraiser. And so people will pledge a dollar here, a dollar there. Um, but there's matching funds. So every dollar that people put in will become $3 that go towards the charity. I feel sorry for the people who have sessions scheduled at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. I remember that last year. That was, that was hard. Um, are you going to shave your head again? <laughs> Well, no, I don't have a lot to shave. Uh, you know, I'm probably, I'm not going to say, that I've grown a lot more and I've shaved, you know, had, had haircuts since. So it, it grows back. But uh, um, no, no, I, I, you know, I got home and my, uh, my nine-year-old son, uh, it, it freaked him out because he didn't, I didn't prepare him for it. You know, and so here I, I cross the corner, he looks at me like, who are you? Because I, you know, I pretty much look like Breaking Bad, right? Kind of scary looking. I mean, a lot of people came up to me thinking I was hotel security that week right afterwards. So uh, no, <laughs> probably not. So looking ahead, I know it's early and this hasn't even... This isn't, this isn't even closed yet, but if you've been looking ahead or thinking ahead, things that you've been kind of pocketing in your brain as, as the conference has been going on, are, are there anything that you're bookmarking for next year that you're, that you're wanting to see or wanting to do? Well, so, uh, you know, brands, there's a lot of brands that applied to get top-level domains, uh, a, a heck of a lot of them. In fact, probably 50% of the, the top global brands went and, and got dot somethings, you know, the Intels and Cisco's and... Amazon and Google and I, I mean I can I can rattle them off, but um, none of them have yet deployed 
and launched what their strategy is going to be for a new TLD. And whether it's going to be loyalty programs or if it's going to be you know, private disposable VPNs or whatever type of things that brands are going to do, the belief is that there's some value in sort of a, a transformational capability that's going to be there. Um, we saw a new technology demoed here, a very early stage technology called Frogans, that is actually dependent upon the TLD to do uh, some really innovative things in a closed, secure environment. So we're going to start to see brands deploy, we're going to start to see new technologies built around the new TLDs, um, maybe into 2016, into 2017. You know, Samsung uh, was here at CES touting the Internet of Things. Um, I think it's still the, uh, the era of the Internet of Names. And we're going to see um, when brands start to use them, uh, and, and things like this conference having 900 people, people will look back five years from now, and they'll, they'll kind of look at this and they'll say, that was when it changed. As, as far as, as Flippa and NamePros are concerned, tell us about your involvement with those, with those sites. One's Marketplace, one's Forum. One thing that I do is I investigate and I look at the services when people uh, suggest that they would like to sponsor, so that we have a good quality. And, and we look to see that there are certain things there. And, um, you know, so that, because we want to have standards. And um, Flip has certainly hit the standards of people that we would want to have here uh, at NamesCon so that people would have a good experience. We want to make sure that we're um, inviting vendors who have good reputations with clients. Um, we asked around to clients about Flippa to make sure that we heard good stories of integrity um, uh, and, uh, and really no stories of bad experiences and things like that. We also definitely noticed um, you've got a very, very large and active base of users uh, that are very active. Um, and we noticed a very significant spike, for example, when, you, um, when we partnered together for this year to do a newsletter to talk about the discounted um, price that we were able to offer to your customers. So I definitely saw a quality uh, of users that came through that promo code in, as far as the interaction here. You've got an enlightened group and uh, a very high quality service, obviously, from what I'm getting is feedback. You asked me about name pros. Well, you know, they've got a cool uh, sort of a blog and there's um, some cool content in around there and newsletters and even cartoons and things like that. So, you know, kind of um, because there's so much exciting content in and around this, um, you know, it's kind of nice if you're just into your normal business day of doing this and that behind your monitor. It's kind of a neat connection with a community. So you'd be able to connect with a community, um, not just be, you know, in your head behind your monitor and kind of up your game when you talk with peers. So it's all about networking and things like that. So NamePros does a lot to help, to help with that. So hi, NamePros, and, and thank you, Flippa, and thank you, Kevin, for the opportunity. Thank you.